Hey everyone, it's Austin here and today we are taking a frustrating issue the dreaded blue screen of death or you can say BSOD but don't worry I'm here to help you get back to gaming in no time. First up let's highlight some basics. A bad hard disk drive can cause this nasty error. If you are running your game and windows on the same drive especially hard disk drive not about, uh, talking about the SSD try moving them to a different one trust me it might just save you from a whole world of headache now if your windows is corrupted we can work on that too we will use some handy commands prompt commands to repair your windows step by step and there's only two commands you need to use i will provide those commands in the description all right now click on the windows icon and search for command prompt cmd on the right side you will see here run as administrator always run command prompt as an administrator because you need all the permissions to work in the command prompt now first you need to type here the sfc space slash the forward slash scan now this command scans for corrupted system files and attempts to repair them it's your first line of defense now the second command is dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health. This command fixes issues with the windows image helping to restore the system health. I will provide both commands in the description. This second command is not working for me anyways. That's a normal case. Now the second thing is head over to C drive go into the windows and find here the two files. The one is 3926676000.dat file just right click on it and delete it now the second command now the second file you need to find vgk boost status.dat and give it the boot as well and that's it now restart your pc your problem should be fixed the last step that might be work for you lot of people are complaining are claiming that it's, it's work for them so you need to try this as well open your windows security and once you open this you need to open the device security once you are here you will find here the core isolation just go into it and disable the memory integrity in my case i'm not using this one as well and still i can play valorant you can also disable this feature a lot of pupils are claiming as i said it's working for them and hopefully it will resolve your issue as well See you in the next video. If you have any other question, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye bye.